The Olympic Games. The first Olympic Games were held in 776 BC in Olympia in southwest Greece. Every four years, warring city-states briefly stopped fighting so that the athletes and spectators could travel safely to Olympia. Only men, boys and unmarried girls were allowed to attend the Games. Married women could be thrown off the side of a mountain if they went to watch. The Games were held in honor of the ancient Greek god Zeus. The ancient Greeks believed that the gods lived on Mount Olympus and that Zeus was the chief god. A popular attraction in Olympia was the Temple of Zeus. Inside the temple was a 12-meter-high statue of Zeus made of gold and ivory. On the third day of the Olympic Games, 100 oxen were sacrificed on the altar of Zeus, which was made out of the ashes from the oxen that had been burnt at all of the previous Olympic Games. By 200 AD, the altar was six meters high. We know a lot about the ancient Olympic Games from sculptures, statues and pottery of the time. Spectators took home souvenir pottery and statues were made to memorialize winners' victories. Pottery was painted with scenes from the Olympic Games, including chariot races, winners receiving their wreaths and sacrifices being made to Zeus. One of the most famous sculptures of an Olympian is the Discobolus of Myron, which dates back to around 450 BC. Whereas over 30 different sports are represented in the modern Olympics, originally the only Olympic sport was running. Over time, more sports were added. These included running, long jump, discus, javelin, boxing, chariot racing and martial arts. Winners received a crown of olive leaves and were given a hero's welcome when they returned home. Some became rich and famous. The most successful Olympian was Leonidas of Rhodes, who won 12 Olympic wreaths between 164 to 152 BC. This remained a world record until Michael Phelps won two individual gold medals in the 2016 Olympics, taking his count to 13.